Hello, my name's Liz and welcome to Home It Looks Like This. I'm a mum of four and I've home educated each of my children now and I just have two still left at home with me currently. So, I recently realised after speaking to a friend who has just deregistered her daughter that I had never done a video to actually explain the deregistration process or the responsibilities on either end. So I thought I'd do a quick little video to run you through those steps one by one. So if you have a child in mainstream education in England or Wales, then the deregistration process is actually really easy. What makes it easy is the fact that there's a template available online and you can actually access it through most of the home education groups. And this template you just download and you fill it in with your child's details and then you send it off to your head teacher. So download the template, fill in your own details, send it off to the head teacher of the school. That letter instructs the head teacher to remove your child from the register. Sadly, many schools actually seem unaware of the legal process of the deregistration and they do like to try and overstep what's actually within their remit. This letter is an instruction, it's not a request. Some schools will actually send back a response stating they will let you know if they agree or even demand a meeting to discuss the outcome with you. Some even stating that it's up to them. This is complete fallacy. Do not be pushed into accepting those meetings. Once your deregistration letter is in, they are required by law to immediately remove them from the school register and to inform the LEA they are no longer a pupil and you are home educating. That is it. You also don't have to inform the LEA home education team yourself. They will eventually get in touch when they receive the paperwork from the LEA to say that you have deregistered. And again, the home ed team may push for verbal or in-person communications. As a community, we advise against that and we advise that you keep all communication in writing. You are also not legally required to showcase your child's work at any point. That work belongs to your child. You are, however, legally required to send in a report yearly. And there's also, again, lots of templates for that. Lots of suggestions of how you can respond to that available online and help in loads of the home ed communication groups. So to deregister your child, it takes just one letter and your home education journey starts from that moment on. The only exclusion to that rule, if your child goes to a special educational needs provision or school, then yes, you do need to actually request permission from the LEA to deregister your child. However, they're not allowed to drag that process out and they have to make it as accessible as possible. So I hope that helped clarify how to deregister properly for you and gave you some advice in relation to how to handle any situations that could potentially arise. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me and I'll do my best to answer them for you. And if I don't know the answer myself, I will say I'm posted to somebody that does.